this jacket probably weighed close to 4,000 pounds or two tons based on the average weight of clay. Uh, we're pretty good at you know, guesstimating how much material weighs out here since we do several buckets per day. The holes here actually represent the three columns that this thing was balanced on. So before flipping it to get it out of the ground, we actually dug all the way around it and underneath it so that we could encase as much of it in plaster as possible to keep the contents inside for when you roll it. You do not want it spilling out the back. So we actually dug tunnels underneath it, which was uh, pretty, pretty interesting. But we got most of the underside plaster jacketed before even flipping it and left it balanced, the whole 4,000 pounds balanced, on three pedestals. Once you are ready to flip it, you cut those pedestals through so that it starts to wiggle, and you can see that in the video, and then you roll it over and then you cut out what's left of the three pedestals. So this larger, rounder area represents the entire skull. And then there are at least three and a half feet of both the left and right upper tusk at the front of the jacket. The actual flip took over 14 people. We had a team of four people down in the pit with the specimen uh, pushing against it to initiate the flip. And we also had uh, two rope teams, more than 10 people on two ropes, uh, pulling from the other direction to pull it over. Uh, it took us all doing it together, but we did get it flipped. It went pretty well. Uh, and got it flipped over. Then to remove it, we had decided to use the bobcat that we have out here, uh, and it was not heavy enough or strong enough to actually move the jacket, so we had to go with plan B, which we'd already worked out, uh, which was calling in a flatbed truck. The next step is to actually start carving away parts of the jacket. We'll remove the top, all the straps in between pedestals, and start removing more clay. We already removed 16 buckets worth from the back out in the field after we flipped it, but before we moved it, to remove over 600 pounds of weight to make it easier to move into here. Uh, we had to stop once we started encountering bone on the underside of the jacket. So now, very carefully in the lab, I'll remove a lot of the plaster jacket and start working the clay down, exposing bone along the way.